loveracing.nz is odds on racing's biggest fan from racing news previews and reviews to ownership info profiles and events find it all at loveracing.nz your home for everything thoroughbred racing visit loveracing.nz racing's biggest fan nathan curry from sunride has, has jumped on the line nathan thanks so much for your time mate uh, just tell us what's the morning like been like out there at tullamarine this morning uh, I think I've been a lot busier, Jules, than Novak has. He's been stuck in the one room <laughs> for about eight hours now, but we've been running back and forth just to figure out exactly where he is. So he could be on the move rather soon now because his visa has been denied, and although he's um, he's keen to fight that in the Victorian courts, he has been told that he needs to get on a plane and, and go back home. So there might be a little bit of movement finally, but, geez, what a long night for Novak and not the outcome he wanted. So what's been the feeling amongst the media out there? Is this... What's happened in the last 15 to 20 minutes? Has that taken you completely by surprise? Or was there a growing feeling that the longer this went on, the longer that Novak was held up, that this was a good chance of happening? Yeah, the longer it went on, from what we've been hearing, it's, so there, there is a lot of paperwork to fill out when it comes to these visa sort of things. But if he, if he had a valid reason, it should have been ticked off and straight through. We've heard that the rest of his team didn't have any issues, but Novak in particular... Um, was taken in there, yeah. So as the morning as the morning went on, it was looking like that, but oh, we just can't believe it. I've been following this live vlog um, over in Serbia. The sort of grabs that his father has been giving to the media over there are just crazy. He's saying that Australia is holding his son captive and they're going to take to the streets of Serbia if his son's not released. So just following all this throughout the morning has, has been incredible. Has there been a level of frustration about how it's been handled, letting Novak into the country in the first place and now denying him the visa? Oh, uh, certainly, certainly, Coons. There's like uh, just so much anger. I've never seen Twitter this united. Everyone just seems to be appalled that he was <laughs> even able to get to this stage. And the, the federal and state governments, they seem to be having a bit of their own tennis match at the moment. No one's really um, taking the blame for this one. The state government last night was tweeting to say, the feds wanted us to approve the visa, but we're not going to do that. And then Greg Hunt this morning on Sunrise was saying, look, if the Victorian government's decided to do that, we'll have to see how it plays out. So, And now Serbia's president's getting involved, saying he's unhappy with how Australia has tweeted the, uh, treated the world's greatest tennis player. So it's certainly getting very, very political. How do you expect it to play out now, Nathan? Is, it, is the assumption that uh, Novak, through his, uh, oh, I guess his lawyer and his entourage, ASAP, will, will fight this in the Victorian courts? Yeah, I, th- I think that's the understanding of what's going to happen now. I-, I really don't know what way this is going to go because the Victorian government has been so tough for months that Novak was not going to step foot in the country. And then yesterday, it seemed like the whole situation had done a complete 180 And now that he was in. And now that he's here, it's been denied. So I really couldn't say uh, what way this is going. But uh, understanding what sort of a player Novak is, he's an absolute competitor. So I think he'll be fighting this one right up until the open starts. So if he goes to a hotel now and he's detained there, have you got any inkling which door he's going to come out of? <laughs> I'd love hey, to know. If you have any inkling, could you let me know? <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to have your runners on. Yeah, I know. It's going to be another, it's going to be another busy few hours, I think, boys. It's, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting whether he actually gets on a plane or they let him stay overnight. Who knows? Uh, big start to the year for you, Nathan, following Novak and recently engaged as well. <laughs> Jules, you are correct. It's a, it's a big couple of weeks for me. I haven't had any Chrissy holidays. Just been, just been flat out, flat out getting the knee dirty and now catching up with Nova. So how does this play out? Your uh, wife to be works at Channel Nine. You're at Channel Seven. Well, must be some awkward conversations. Might be some awkward conversations in the they house. Let me go, so yeah. <laughs> Sleeping with the enemy, Jules. Uh, exactly. Uh, Nate, thanks so much for your time, mate. You're doing a, a great job on Sunrise covering this this morning. Appreciate you jumping on the line. Pleasure. Anytime, boys.